So when you are in the coding in Minecraft world, you have activities and assessments. Activities, you do not take screenshots, you do not submit or turn in on your portal. Activities are meant to be done to learn how to code. So for example, uh, this NPC tells you what you're going to be learning here. In this activity, you are learning about the loops, the repeat block. Every time you reset your area, it lets you run the code again. Now, if you complete the activity before actually doing it, and the yellow glitter around your build area turns green, no problem. You can still continue the activity. So you read what it says, and you can use the immersive reader to read it to you if you like to listen to your instructions. And then it tells you, add another repeat code four times around the existing repeat three times block and change the number of times to repeat to two. So I go here and I try to do that. Um, so I'm going to put this in here, put that there, and then I check the light bulb to make sure I did it right. Okay, so I got to change that to two. Everything else looks good. Because sometimes you read the instructions and you forget something or you don't do it right. You click to go to the next, see how I'm on three, and I still have to do four and five, um, because it's going to tell me what to do next. See, it's telling me what to do. It's teaching me how to code, or at least how to use this code for uh, making my agent do what I want it to do. So after the repeat three times loop, within the repeat two times loop, place the following four blocks. Agent move up by one, agent turn left, turn left, move forward by one. So it's going to be here. So it's after this one, within this one. So I need a move. And I'm going to change it to up. And all this code that you're learning uh, is going to come in very handy in the assessments because it's teaching you how to get the assessments done correctly. So it teaches you how to do it. You just copy it. So up one, left, left, forward one. And then it tells you how to start it. Click the green start button and it shows you what it's going to build. This is where you see, did I do it right? And this is how you learn how to code. Let's move this out of the way, my face. Click OK, click the green button, and now I'm ready to push T for my chat box, type in run, run the code, and my agent builds the wall. Now I'm going to go to C. Did I do that right? Let's go back here. Let's go back to this one. Two, three times, forward one, back one, two, one, one. Yep, everything looks good. The wall looks right. Now, now that I see that I have done that right, now I am ready to move on to the next activity, or in this case, I'm in the last activity of lesson three, so I'm ready to go out. That's how you use the activities in each lesson to learn how to code. So when you get to the assessments, you can code on your own and pass the tests.